fiscal side and the monetary side, the challenges that we have, and the decisions that will be taken to correct are going to be very painful decisions. So let me first of all please request our politicians. You must prepare the minds of Nigerians for difficult decisions. Anybody who tells you that it is going to be easy, please don't vote for him. Because it's either he's lying to you or he does not know what job he's going to get. You cannot, you cannot with this level of debt, this level of debt service, with this level of collapse in revenue, with this level of poverty, you cannot. And you have to take corrective decisions. Tariffs on electricity sector have, have, to be, have to be corrected. Tariffs in the oil sector have to be corrected. But before we correct that, we have to deal with the opportunities for rent seeking. You have to close off the inflated numbers, the false numbers. And I hope that whoever becomes president in 2023, the first thing they should do is ask NMPC to document and bring evidence for every dollar they took as subsidy. They must give the, they must give the ships that came and we can verify from insurance companies if those ships were in Nigeria on that date. You, you must bring evidence, because that is what the law says. There must, be, there must be proof, before you pay subsidy, there must be proof that you brought it in, at the price you said you brought it in. Because Expensive and in short supply, angry Nigerians criticized the new government as they lined up to buy fuel in major cities in the country. Pump prices have doubled, even tripled in some areas following an announcement by President Bola Tinubu that a subsidy which kept prices down was coming to an end. Long queues were seen on Tuesday outside petrol stations in Nigeria, a day after newly inaugurated President Bola Tinubu announced the end of fuel subsidies in his first speech. Oil-rich Nigeria swaps crude worth billions of dollars for gasoline that it then subsidizes for its domestic market, causing a huge drain on revenue for foreign exchange and contributing to ballooning debt. On Monday, Tinubu triggered a wave of panic when he declared that the fuel subsidy is gone after taking the helm of Africa's most populous nation. The previous government of Muhammadu Buhari budgeted subsidies until the end of June, but it was unclear if that was when nationwide prices at the pump would rise or if it would happen before. The reality is that from today, the government can no longer afford to pay for fuel subsidies, the CEO of the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, Mele Chali, told reporters on Tuesday. He said the government needed to settle up to 2.8 trillion naira, about US dollar 6 billion, on subsidies. But this, uh, he said that some engagements are ongoing to bring relief to the people. Thank you so much for watching. I don't know this.